So what's the point of this video? I, I don't really know. I do know one thing. I wasn't sitting on my ass watching TV. I was outside doing something. Get outside and do something. Welcome back guys, it is project time once again. I got a couple other projects on the go. Hey, there's a guy I watch on YouTube, uh, Puddin' from Puddin' Fab Shop. Every time he signs off, he says, don't forget, sitting on your ass ain't gonna finish your projects. My problem ain't sitting on my ass. My problem is starting them and not finishing them. Anyway, I got this big empty space right over here. Now, when I start cleaning out the shop and cleaning out the side of the shop, what I found was these nice 2x8s that used to be a workbench in there. I thought, well, I need more space. I need another workbench. Why not just use what I got? So that's today's project. We're going to take all this reclaimed wood. I got reclaimed 4x4s. They're not in the best shape, but we're going to use them anyways. In total, if I wanted to put this bench in, I figured it's going to cost me about 60 bucks between screws and 2x4s. We're going to do this today for $0. That's right, $0. Why? Because I'm cheap, and I ain't afraid to say I'm cheap. Anyway, I'm going to put you guys up here. We're going to get this thing cut. Uh, before I do that, let me show you what I got going on here. So some of this is pretty rough, okay? I've already marked out the end. Marked out this end down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square this off. I'm also going to draw another line from here down to there to get rid of this rough edge here. Then, we're going to put it in the shop. Why not? Zero dollars, folks. Zero dollars. Better watch my fingers. You guys look like you're looking the other way there. I'm over here. Here you go. Unless you want to cut this axle, you gotta go. So we got the ends all squared up, both sides. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some old barn board that I had. Uh, it's not really old, it's actually a nice barn board. Uh, where are you, where are you? All right, there's one piece right there. And there's a second piece. So what I'm gonna do then I'm going to cut these. Obviously, they'll be on the underside. Right there. Obviously, I'm going to cut this down to about 5 inches like the other one is. Put that on the end there. And that'll keep everything straight. I've got a 4x4. Four four. Look at this. That's a little chewed up. And this is messed up right here. So, I'm going to end up popping this off. Trimming it down. Because that's going to be a problem when you're leaning on the bench working. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to strip that down right now. Hey, save money. Well, I just made an executive decision. I'm not going to cut the back of this one here off. That top edge is pretty straight, and that's what's going to be up against the wall. So I'm not really going to worry about that a whole lot. This piece right here, obviously you don't want to be leaning on that. So what I've done is I've measured in from here to here, six inches all the way along. I'm going to cut that off so i got a nice edge on here. Then I'm just going to round it over so that it's not a sharp edge. And then we're going to put the end pieces on to it. It's going to tie it all together. This piece over here, as you see, when we lift it back up, it tightens right up. But I'll make sure that's tight before it gets put in. Why are you building another bench, you may be asking. Well, 
There are more accu... Where's my word? There it is. Uh, there were more executive decisions made recently. And uh, there's going to be some new things going on here that I think you may or may not like. If you like the outdoors, you're going to like that. As you can tell, we like the outdoors here. Oh, this is us, by the way. And uh, we need another bench. So, not the biggest shop in the world, but I'm proud of that shop. We're doing everything we can inside it. Maybe someday we'll get some bigger space. Lots of local space around here. It's just a matter of paying for it. <laughs> anyway, let's get that edge cut off there. And uh, I'll show you where we're at. And sorry about the wind, guys. I asked it to slow down, but it didn't care. Get a straight edge on here. Hey, right, let's get her done. Let's have a look and see how we did. Well, looks like we uh, come out and made a hard left down the other end there. A little tough to do with this thing wobbling all over the bench, and part of that's my problem because I don't want to take the whole thing apart. So I'm kind of working with it wobbling and shifting and carrying on, but we're not building an award-winning bench here. We're building something that's going to be useful. So we got the end squared up. We got the new front edge put on it. Now we have to cut these end pieces and they're gonna go on the back side of this. I'll show you here in just a second. Did you steal my pencil? Did you steal my pencil? Come on now. Come on now. Be lucky. So now we gotta get this screwed on each end. You see what I mean? Now that's gonna hold that side tight. We'll do the same thing on the other end. Alright, so as you can see we are all tightened up down here. Tightened up down here. Now, you might be wondering how am I going to attach this to the wall. I'm not going to put any back legs on it, just front legs. So I'm going to take this piece of barn board here. I'm going to rip it down the middle. So now I got two pieces. On the back side, I'm going to have a piece go under each side right here. But this piece right here. It can be bolted to the studs in the wall. So this basically sit on that like a shelf and I'll screw it down through the top. That'll save me going out to buy some legs for the back. I think it's working out pretty good so far. What do you think? Making something out of nothing. This whole thing is gonna be free. My best kind, free 99. Let's go. All right guys, looking at this four by four, it's in uh, pretty bad shape. It's still heavy, so I'm hoping it's still solid on the inside. We got it marked out, it's exactly 74 inches long, so we got it marked at 37, so give me half. We'll cut this down, and we'll get it mounted onto there. Then we'll get it inside the shop and mount it there. We're gonna work with it. Just roll with it, you ain't gonna see that from the street. That's my motto, you ain't gonna see it from the street. We got our legs cut. Yeah, see, it looks rough on the outside, but inside, we're still good. So we're going to pick out which side looks best for the outside. And we might go with that one right there. And on this one here, well, it's all boogered up all over the place. So maybe we'll just go with this side right here. I'm going to flip the top over, screw these legs onto it. And then I got to cut the strip. Just going to go in the back here. It's update time. I didn't think y'all wanted to watch me cut some wood and do whatever, but here's what we got. So this is going to be the back. This is going against the wall, so it's going to stand upright. 
These are the front legs. Obviously, I'm going to have to get a board to go between here and there to stabilize these legs. This is going to be the top. Now, what I have to do is I got to rip this board up the middle. Um, that's going to give me two pieces, obviously. Hang on here. That's going to give me two pieces, obviously. And then this is going to sit on here, which is screwed to the studs in the wall. I'm just going to hold it up. It's going to hold it up. Anyway, I'm going to rip this. And I got to make some room in the shed because I think we're about ready to put it in. Close. Close. All right, guys, I got my pieces in the wall over there. I think you kind of understand what I was getting at there. So I'm gonna break, bring it in here without breaking the legs off it. I'm, and I'm also bad for not moving stuff out of the way, but we try and get her in here without breaking anything. break anything but here's what we're looking at this is what I mean so I've got my legs hey that was a little crooked I have to bring that in a bit all right so we got my legs but underneath here see my pieces on the wall there I screwed to the stud on both sides and I'm gonna screw the top down to that that's what's gonna hold up now, yeah I do have to get a 2 by 4 to run across from here to here and also back to the wall. I want to put it in here as well. Along the back wall and build kind of a shelf so I can put some of this stuff on it. And kind of get it up off the floor. But Alright guys, we're pretty much done with this project here. I flap attack the edge so it doesn't slice me open. And yes, that wood was sharp all the way around. It is sturdy. What I will do though, before I put the 2x4s uh, in the bottom. Let me get some L brackets. I'm going to bracket the uh, bottom of the 4x4s to the floor because it's a wood floor as well and it's not going to go anywhere and this is kind of where it's going to be now i also like to put a window in there but that's way down the road and like i said i got some other things coming here some things we're going to be working on having fun with and this bench is going to be part of that i still got my bench over there as you see it's got some projects on it but this is it you got to get it a little tighter to the back wall but other than that there we go like I said, free 99. You cannot beat free 99. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. I'm just going to straighten up some legs and put some tools away and call it a day. Make something out of nothing. I love making something out of nothing. Anyway, if you all enjoyed that, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you along. Uh, ring the bell. What else you got? Thumbs up. I appreciate it. I like corresponding back and forth with you guys. So leave me a comment down below. We're going to have more project related videos we got more outdoor videos i mean i like the traveling but price of gas y'all see the price of gas you may want to put your seatbelt on because it's going up anyway we'll see you on the next one later put another one on here so i'm getting another two inches two inches ain't a lot but that depends on who you are stay away from that